interesting things about when you first move to Germany is all the things that you discover um, in the beginning. And those testimonies that I hear from those people are some of the most interesting because they kind of remind me of when I first arrived and it gives me the, it gives me the nostalgic feeling of how it felt back then. And today I'm actually gonna be meeting up with a friend who's going to be kind of giving us, uh, you and me, some of those uh, experiences and testimonies. Now, just up ahead is where I'm supposed to be meeting him, right near this tower right here. So I've indeed crossed past this thing before. You've seen this the last time I was here, but I'm here at the center park area looking for the person I'm supposed to be meeting here. Oh, there he is right there. Hey. Finally, you're here. How's it going? Good to see you. All right, guys, I'm here with AJ from AJ is Road Tripping. We're here in Mannheim, downtown, and we're just kind of walking about. We're gonna ask AJ a few questions because he's brand new to Germany. So first of all, we're gonna ask AJ, how was your trip? And what was the first thing you did when you got here? The trip was terrible, I'm not gonna lie. So I started my trip on a Monday morning, leaving my sister's place. I had to drive up to Atlanta to drop off the car and then wait and then got bumped, waited and finally got to DC and got bumped again. But when I finally got on the plane and I was actually in the air on my way to Germany, that's when things leveled out. Even though I was not in the seat that I requested, it that was great. That is when it kind of hits, isn't it? Yes. Start feeling the good feelings. Yes. If you guys didn't know, AJ is a subscriber to the channel and also a friend of the creator of the channel. I also follow his uh, channel over at AJ is Road Tripping, which is mostly about van life and pretty soon he's going to be getting that going. So do you want to talk a little bit about van life for us? Sure. So um, back in the US, I had a van that I bought. Um, I did wind up selling that van because I was moving here to Germany and I am in the process of buying a new van and I mean brand new camper van. It's already built out, just waiting on the paperwork and all that stuff to come together. Once it does, then I will be picking up my new van and starting my new adventures here in Germany. <laughs> I asked the same question. <laughs> like when I, I was talking, who was I talking to? It doesn't matter. I said the same thing. I said, look, let's be real about this. As you guys know, if you know anything about this uh, German nine-year-old ticket thing, it's brand new and my friend AJ here got here right in the nick of time when it's time to put that thing to good use. What I want to do is find out from the horse's mouth what it's been like being able to basically go anywhere you want on just nine euros per month. AJ, what do you think about that? So the, the second thing that I bought when I got off the plane was the nine-year-old ticket. Um, I went right to the kiosk and it was very simple, put the money in. Uh, it says nine euro ticket, press the button, and then it popped out. It has been, um, I don't want to say a lifesaver, but it's been a money saver because Definitely. I don't have a car here, I don't have a bike here, not yet, and I've had to take the train and the bus uh, to and from my new job, to and from places to go do laundry, to and from grocery stores, and just getting out and about. And my ticket has only been checked one time. It was fine. I pulled it out, he looked at it, and he double checked that it was for the month of June, and then gave it back to me and, and carried on. For the most part, they've been pretty good about that yep. from what I've seen. I think they know that most people are going to be actually taking advantage of this, and it, that it's worth it to actually do it than it is to actually try and cheat. But one problem that a lot of people have been facing, and there's a lot of content and videos out there about this, is overcrowdedness, late trains, and canceled trains. Have you dealt with any of that? So I have dealt with late trains. Of course, the, the very first day of reporting to my new job, my train was 30 minutes oh, late. Oh, how convenient. Yeah. yeah, I don't like to be late for anything, but hey, whatever. The line from the village that I live in up into the town where I work, I know it was down for maintenance for roughly five days, but then the buses came in to sort that out. I mean, you know, they supplemented the train with the buses. There's been a couple of small delays. Yes, there have been lots of crowds on the trains. The American in me comes right out, and this is for you if my grandmother's watching. <laughs> I have stood up on every occasion whenever I see somebody slightly older than me uh, standing up on the train, but man, there's not a lot of that chivalry, I guess. But the nine-year-old ticket is definitely been great. I, I can't say enough about it. Thank you, AJ. Yeah, no worries. So after doing a bunch of walking, we decided to stop here at this Asian restaurant called Sakura. I ordered the... I ordered the tempura shrimp. 
Yo, this is my second time doing this because all day I've been forgetting to push the recording button and I'm not cutting this out. Y'all gonna see the struggles of being a content creator. Uh, but I ordered the tempura shrimp and what I was saying is you can expect high quality food no matter where you eat at in Germany. It's all gonna be high quality and I don't think this will be any different. If you guys wanna see what AJ got, he'll tell you right now. I got uh, pork dim sum. It's just little rolls with pork in it. Tastes pretty good. Don't like the sauce. He's pretty good at redoing it. I'm not. But that's all the takes we're gonna get, that you're gonna get, and we'll talk to you guys in the next clip. Bye. One of the main things that you have to deal with and get used to here in Germany is being able to adjust your modes of transportation. Many people decide to take a more conventional mode of transportation as opposed to taking their motor vehicles and buying expensive vehicles. And I want to get a first-hand take on what AJ thinks about being able to take e-vehicles in Germany. Uh, it was actually really easy. I signed up on the app and you know, attached my debit card and boom, it showed me exactly where a little scooter was and I got on it. Never ridden a scooter like that before and it was really easy to do. Now you've only ridden the scooters, right? You've never tested Not the, the bikes? E bikes? Not yet. And that's one of the things I'm thinking about doing as well. Super simple, super easy. Okay, so we've reached a moment where it's time to do what most people come to Germany to do. It's time to have a beer. AJ, do you know what your favorite beer is yet? Uh, Weiss beer, natürlich. Let's go do it then. <laughs> I know. As promised, this is time, this is beer time, and it's time to get it in. Y'all know what time it is as we do on our streams. Time to post with my man's AJ. Here we go. Post. Post. All right, so guys, that is it. We spent the whole day here in Mannheim and we are at the end right now. I'm getting ready to go catch my train. He'll be catching his a little later. And uh, that's the end of the video. Anything you wanna to say to the people, AJ? No, man, it was great meeting you. Finally got here, got a chance to meet you. One of my favorite Likewise. YouTubers. Not just saying that, it's true. And uh, Grim, don't be mad. You should be over <laughs> here too. Word up, word up. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, show AJ some love and we will talk to you guys in the next. Show Chris some love. Hit that thumbs up.
Correct. And like we'll, that smash button. Appreciate that. And we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.